David, it's such a pleasure to be here with you today, and thank you for hosting us in your depot. Thanks, Darren. It's great to have you here. You're working with a lot of different technologies across the business to drive innovation and retain that competitive advantage. How are you thinking about adopting a technological change? Well, I think the, the short answer is we're thinking differently about it. You know, look, historically, a lot of our legacy systems were just continuations of big enterprise, uh, you know, systems and services, whereas the, the world is changing out there. So we think very much around the architecture of it. You know, we try to think cloud first, but then we're thinking more around, you know, no code. We're thinking about how can we get something out quicker? How do we co-create with our you know, teams to make sure that functionality and features you know, match what they need? Creatio's no-code platform has been rolled out as a core tool across, across your depots. What were the key drivers behind the decision to roll out Creatio? I think, you know, when we were going through the RFP and then there was the usual incumbents and then there was Creatio and just the, the difference was very clear around, you know, truly being no code and something we can attest to after, you know, deploying this. But it was just a different way of thinking. It was about speed. It was about doing things in a, a way more efficient manner. The platform has been deployed in record time at Howden's. Tell me how that deployment journey has been different to traditional legacy software. And it really was record time. I think we were into the first depot within 12 weeks of starting the design and build, which you can imagine is uh, truly incredible. You know, traditionally that would have looked probably more like multiple years. It would have been highly co complex. It would have been many, many different partners involved. There would have been cost overruns, time overruns. The, the no code aspect of it really didn't impress me. And so, you know, you're putting the pieces and you're putting the blocks together as opposed to, you know, deep coding that has already been done for us. So that truly speeds things up and allows us to, you know, put the blocks together and to configure and to, and to you know, just take all that time and expense out of it. You're using technology as a driver, clearly at Howden, to differentiate yourself and drive chain. How are you thinking about how you can adopt those technologies in the best way possible? So we're seeing value in, in three areas. The first area is that we've got the entire depot team all, faced, all facing in the same direction, all going after leads in one system. This wasn't the case previously, and there would be you know, a combination of Excel, maybe paper, post-it notes. And of course, leads were being lost or you know, in the heart, in the heat of, of the depot being busy would be forgotten. Sure. This brings that all together. So that's definitely the first area. The second is that we have a much better idea of what's happening deep within our account base. This gives insight to the depot teams to really go and manage that relationship, to go and speak to a customer before they become a elapsed customer and really deepen that relationship. And we're seeing a lot of value through that. The third one is very exciting and that's around strike rate. So that's how many leads are we getting for phone calls made to our customers. And we've seen through having a system that's really tied in, gives us better information on our customers, better information on our product, we can go and see a much higher strike rate. David, love that. Great. Great answer, thank you. Um, let's hear from one of your users. The more we know about our builders, the more meaningful conversations we have, the more value it brings to our business. So the strike rate's gone up from 32% to 38% due to us being able to speak to the builder with a more informed and constructive conversation. We've been able to target our audiences better with our marketing and our conversations, being able to decrease our calls to our builders, therefore giving them more time to work. In terms of having all of that data in one place, in a single platform, how is that driving efficiencies? And that, I think, is really the foundation of this. Previously, our teams would need to have gone between maybe four or five different systems to get that information. And it's tedious and it's you know full of friction and it's just not relating in a good experience for the customer either. Now everything is one in one place and that's definitely having an impact. How did you ensure that those users were enjoying the platform? Sure. Adoption was key. You know, if we're going to have this technology out there, we want it to be used and to, to be adding value. We had a pretty clear idea on what we wanted to build, and I would say we got 90% of the way there. The key was then putting it into the depots, and we started with about 20 depots, and we got them to you know, co-create with us and tell us what they actually needed. And this was the difference between having something that's off the shelf, that's almost good enough to being customizedly good and exactly what we need. And then we slowly grew out that 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 uh, number of depots who were involved in the, in the process. And we got to a stage then that we were really feature rich and we had the functions that, that was needed. And once we had that, adoption grew and then the impact grew and the business, um, you know, benefited after that. Yeah, so to become a really integral part of our business, it's the first thing that we load up in the morning. Uh, so last thing we closed down 
at night. Uh, we use it for setting up the day, uh, we use it for organisation within the depot, communication between the staff, using it for chasing calls. Um, it's very easy to use, the dashboard is very simple, everybody in the depot has the same dashboard so we can relate between the team and the communication of the team is a lot better. We can click into different menus, filter and target what we need to target on a daily basis. David, as you look ahead, how do you envisage automation and AI playing a role within your business? Darren, I see it really in two areas. The first is around how do we make the individual more effective? Um, and generative AI is really, Copilot is really well positioned for this. You know, it can help them with the easier tasks and then it can become progressively more useful. So it could be around um, scheduling or creating content, but it can go deeper than that and truly help them understand what's happening within, um, within their account base. The second is really using generative AI to help the, the depot teams know what's happening deep within their account base so they can go and you know speak to a customer before they become lapsed or they can see an opportunity for a sale that they might not have been able to spot before. David, thanks for a great discussion. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I genuinely appreciate being here. Thanks very much, Darren. Thank you.